Good morning, it's a beautiful Sunday. You're currently propped up on his car. We're getting breakfast. It's like super late though. My boyfriend's such a morning person. Meanwhile, I'm like, let's stay in bed forever. So at 11 a.m., he got me up and out. We're going quickly just to like a smaller coffee shop that serves breakfast. However, I haven't told anyone this, but, oh, here he comes. I better make this fast. I'm on a coffee break. I haven't had coffee, caffeine in two weeks. And just like that, we're here. And just like that, I have a full face of makeup on. It only took me four minutes. I feel pretty proud of myself. And it's like our little routine, because I take a long time to get ready. So if I put my makeup, <laughs> is that funny? It's an understatement. <laughs> I was listening to my retro playlist on Spotify. Go follow me on Spotify for some tunes. It is 8, 10 p.m. I am back at home on a Sunday night because I have a lot to do and I really just wanna get a head start and conquer this next week. This like past week faced a couple challenges and I was definitely just like, feeling shitty and sad a lot more than usual, but that's not going to stop me from having a great new week. I'm actually getting a lot of stuff done tonight that I plan to do tomorrow morning before class. I wrote out this huge to-do list and I'm already conquering stuff that I didn't think I would do until morning. For instance, I just replied to three letters. I have, let me see if I can do this from behind, Helen, Amy, and Hunter's cards. Like I've said before, I'm totally open to writing handwritten notes to any of you that enjoy receiving letters in the mail. I'm a huge fan of it. I love receiving letters. So if you want to become pen pals, just DM me privately somehow with your address and I'll send you a cute card. Also, Hunter, I wanted to show you. Usually when I receive a letter and it's just very sweet and it affects me in a positive way and makes me feel happy, happy and just motivated and in love with life. I put it on my wall of happy things. Ta-da! Wall of happy things. I just added Hunter's new card mostly because look at how beautiful her calligraphy is. Like look, this, she did this by hand. I think she did such a great job and her letter was very, very sweet. Just for review, this is Nicole Jacqueline's card that she wrote me. We're pretty tight. This was Jan's Merry Christmas letter, which is so cute. I got it super late because she accidentally addressed it to herself and not me. Sorry, Jan. Tessa's card, we have some um, quotes that Katie sent me and then Bailey's sweet card is up there. That's it for now But if you want to be featured on my wall of happy things, please let me know and I'd be more than welcome That wasn't a sentence, but I think you understand what I'm trying to say Basically, I've got a tough week ahead of me and I'm already looking forward to it because that means that I'm getting somewhere in life And I'm doing things and oh this binder like my hair binder really hurts my hair right now I tied it way too tight a lot of exciting YouTube stuff is about to happen But in order to do that I have to be on top of my ish that's exhausting in the best way possible. Finished editing for the night, and I think I'm gonna do something impulsive and dye my hair. Obviously, it's not gonna be that much different. I just know that my roots have grown out a lot, and the red dye from a couple months ago is just like, it looks bad, and you can't really tell when it's up, so yeah. But, oh, maybe you can. See, like, look at how different in color this is. The tips are so red in comparison to my actual hair color. So I'm just going to balance it out with a nice caramel brown because I'm getting it balayaged. Can you make that a verb? I'm getting a balayage treatment before I go to LA in a few weeks, so I want it to be a lighter caramel like base so that it's blonder, if that makes sense, because I'm getting ready for spring and summertime, baby. All right, let's go dye my hair. So it's a good thing that my hair is already greasy because you want kind of dirty hair when you're dyeing it. I don't know why, it just helps with the dyeing process. I'm not a stylist at all, I just dye my hair a lot. And this is not professionally done. However, I do have my classic junior year shirt that I have dedicated to dyeing my hair in. As you can tell, it has like a bunch of old dye on it. And who wants to remember junior year anyways? I fucking suck. All right, let's do this. That color difference though. Oh, this is so long overdue.
realize now I really wanted to dip down my own hair in light lavender, like a nice purple hue, and I've always chickened out for various reasons, like, oh, I'm about to teach summer camp, or oh, I'm switching schools, but like, one of these days, I'm actually gonna do it. Saying it right now, for all of you, it'll happen. minutes for this hair dye to set in and I threw in a face mask because why not I'm gonna have to hop in the shower anyway to take out the dye and I don't get to do this at my boyfriend's house so it's like pamper me night so that's exactly what this is <laughs> I'm excited to see the results I'm excited to go to the salon the following week to get the balayage treatment in as well which is basically just like highlights but like better and Bay just snapped me so why don't we snap him back while getting like this because I look good <laughs> and I'll see you in about 20 minutes after this is off and this is dried slash been rinsed out peace well I have rinsed out all the dye from my hair I put a little bit of my styling like hair routine in it it's drying right now obviously you can't really tell the color difference and I don't think you will when it's dry anyway simply because it's just like a light brown well light caramel brown just the way that I always dye it this is just gonna be the base color before the balayage which is really gonna be the difference in my hair but I'll still show you in the morning when it looks like dry because I think there is a difference but you know anyway I made some tea it's kind of late it's 11:30. It's, whoa, what has happened to McKayK, the girl that used to stay up until 3 a.m. now saying that 11.30 is late. But I wanna get up by 8 a.m. tomorrow. I've got a full day of things to do and I'm ready to conquer this next week because guys, March is this week. Like February's over, March means spring, spring means summer. Oh, so happy about that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow.